Mary my husband might have come to an end, but there were moments in the course of G1's revenge that had us on a stronghold. These moments set the internet abuzz, paving the way for the success of the drama. It's only right that G1's revenge moments get their own video, so we'd easily revisit them at will. Here are the moments G1 played Min Huan and Su Min in their own game, starting from the epic to the most epic. The first is what I call the tripping revenge. This was the first time G1 flapped her wings, trying out the perks of having privy knowledge of the future. A sulking Su Min heaped food on her plate, with plans of emptying it on Ji-won's face, as a get-back for refusing to eat what she wanted. Knowing what she was up to, Ji-won gave her the side trip. This was epic, as she ended up getting Min Hwan into the mix, playing Su Min in her own game. This whole scene still lives rent-free in my head. Next was the reunion revenge. To humiliate G1, Suman invited her for lunch, without stating that it was their school reunion. She had hoped that G1 would turn up looking shabby, like in her first life. The look on her face and G1's high school bullies were priceless when G1 walked in. G1 showed up and showed out. She ended up humiliating Su Min, as she'd planned to do to her. Un Ho appearing to vouch for her, was the cream de la cream of the scene. Su Min left the reunion with her tail tugged between her legs. Next is the workshop revenge. Su Min thought she'd get away with taking Ji Won's hard-earned first position from her. Ji Won showed her that the Ji Won of yesterday, wasn't the same G1 today. However, G1 still had hopes and empathy for her sneaky friend of 26 years, only for Su Min to pull a stunt on her. This time, G1 taught her a lesson without holding back. She went further to cut her to pieces with her words, driving Su Min into seeking Min Huan out. Which, as we know, was her plan all along. Next is the shopping revenge. Ji Won had taken hell from Min Huan in her previous life, without asking for anything in return. This time, after the audacious Min Huan proposed to her, she decided to drive him further into debt, as he planned to use her as a poverty alleviation scheme. She splurged his money, for the first and last time. Min Huan's face in the end, made her revenge worthwhile. Next is the flipping revenge. This scene set the internet abuzz. I remember the varying emotions I experienced during this scene. When G1 walked in, looking like she was going clubbing, to what was supposed to be a family dinner, I gave a loud applause. When she took Min Huan's mother to task, I gave her a thumbs up. But when she flipped the impetuous Min Huan, I lost my cool. How could a tiny G1 pull a stunt like that on the unsuspecting Min Huan? He didn't see that coming. My mouth was open, just like his mother's. This is arguably one of the best scenes in the drama. Next is the public slap slash red panty revenge. Min Huan thought he could intimidate Ji Won after the stunt she pulled. Just like the flip, he didn't see the slaps coming. Ji Won kept raining them down like a thunderbolt in front of their colleagues. Then she whipped out the red panty. Crowning Min Huan with the pant in front of their colleagues was a sight to behold. She finally broke off their engagement, by launching her fake ring like a missile on a mission. Despite all this, Su Min still didn't learn her lessons. So we have the public disgrace revenge. After getting fired by the company, Su Min thought to take G1 down with her, by doing what she knows how to do best, fibbing. When G1 called her name in anger, I shouted with her. 
she didn't only push and drag her in front of their colleagues, but also publicly exposed her lies. This scene was satisfying, as G1 was a whole badass. Next is Marry My Husband Revenge. This was when Ji Won finally achieved her aim of getting Min Hwan to marry Su Min. She walked in with Ji Hyuk, looking like the power couple they were, wearing an authentic necklace from Ji Hyuk. Min Hwan's face on discovering that she had the real version was epic. The look on Su Min's face when her antics of trying to brag about Min Hwan failed was epic. Ji Won had her say, tossed the expensive bag, and achieved her goal of getting them married. Next is the cheating revenge. This could pass for revenge, right? Ji Won and Ji Hyuk made Su Min feel how it feels to be cheated on by her husband. This was what she did to Ji Won in her first life. It's only right that Ji Won returned the favor. This could have led to her death, but just like evil villains in dramas, she escaped death, and made Min Hwan get Ji Won's fate. And then, the last flipping revenge. Su Min is like a moth, drawn to a flame until the flame consumes it. Instead of counting her losses and forging ahead, she gave us another flipping moment by trying to kill Ji Won. Ji Won was magnificent in her quest for revenge. She took her by surprise and flipped the daylight out of her, stealing her breath away. This marked the end for the beautiful, gaslighting manipulator. Ji Won changed her fate and made sure those who were responsible for her death in her first life, who refused to change in the present, got their comeuppance. Min Huan got her fate, and Su Min will spend the rest of her days in jail, hearing news of her happiness and future endeavors. I will sure miss seeing this cast on my screens. On a scale of 1 to 10, how will you rate this drama? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.